Hello everyone, this is Big L Hoffman Vlogs and today I'm going to show you how to change a blower motor and also the fan motor resistor for the fan speeds. I'm going to show you how to replace that as well on a 1997 to 2004 Chevrolet Malibu. came with the fan wheel on it but if yours did not come with a fan wheel you will have to replace this fan wheel which is a pretty simple thing you just take the screw out and take the wheel off and put it on the new one and then screw it back on it might be a little different on each model but uh, this particular one came with the wheel so let's get started now the only tools you're going to need today for this job is a quarter inch ratchet or you can use a 3 8 inch ratchet with a reducer uh, short extension that's a quarter inch extension and then a 7 millimeter socket and a 5.5 millimeter socket and this may be helpful too to put the socket on the end of this guy here after it's loosened up well as you might well imagine it's pretty tight under here I just put the seat back all the way and then uh, should be able to get in under here and you gotta get in under here and get this plate off now you're gonna want to use your 7 millimeter socket to get this screw and this screw out of here real quick And there's also another screw right up in here. Then this should come right out of here, just like so. And you're also going to want to take this panel off right here. I guess I lied, you need a... You could either use a screwdriver or use a pliers for this. And pop that out of there. Now you're going to want to take this black box out of here. Just slides off. Just slides off like that. There's little channels here. It just slides off to that side. And right here is your blower motor. You got the three screws. They're all 5.5 millimeter. And right behind it is your resistor. In the back here there's a plug. Just uh, unhook it. That's the plug for the uh, blower motor. Now we're going to need our 5 millimeter socket. Take the three bolts out around it. Gonna slide it past here and the old one's out. Wow, got a lot of leaves in there. So before you put the new one in, you should make sure all your leaves are cleaned out up top here. And if you're gonna replace your resistor, which is what controls the fan speeds, if some of your fan speeds aren't working, this is probably your problem. All you do is I'm not gonna replace it because I don't need to. I replaced it probably about a year ago, but you just pop this connector off. There's a screw back here. And there's a screw right here to get that out of there. It's difficult to get back there, but uh, you can do it. I've done it before. There's a screw back here and right here, and then this whole thing just slides out. And you just put the new one in, put the screws back in. Once you get this connector out of here, it's easier to get to these screws, too. But uh, then you just slide the new one up in, put the screws back in, put the connector back on, and that part's done. All right, so here's the old one, and here's the new one. You got to retain all, get all these screws out of here. You need these in the new one. Now the the new motor came with came with brand new uh, washers here. These washers seems to be pretty built into this. I probably I'm just what I'm going to do is just use the old washers. They are absolutely fine. I think they were supplied them just in case you might need them. All right, you have this gasket here got little openings here to slide into these guys here and it's oblong so the oblong side goes on this side over here 
and you basically get it over like this. It's a little tough, but just stretch it around there. And then just slide these guys into here. And make sure it's all good under here before you go onto the car. And this is what you got right here. Now you're ready to put it back in. The connector point goes toward the front of the car. Now for ease of uh, seeing this here, I took the glove compartment out. You can do that as well. It might make it easier for you to look in through here. You just squeeze the sides of the glove compartment in like this and they pop out of these holes. So that would make it a little easier. All right, so you, as you might well imagine, the hardest part is getting the screws started on this thing. Make sure this, make sure this uh, connector port is going toward the back. And slide her up in there, getting it past this guy here. And then get one of your screws going. Let's get them all tightened up. Now make sure they're all good and snug, so no air escapes out of here. And don't forget to plug your connector back in. Make sure it's all the way in so it doesn't fall out on you later. All right, now my old one wasn't working at all, so let's just check and make sure that that was the problem and it wasn't that resistor. Well, let's just make sure. Should be able to hear the fan sound. And all the fan speeds work. Now we're gonna put all this stuff back together the same way we took it apart and uh, I'll show you how to do that. There's one thing you got to watch out for when you put one of the panels back on. I'll show you what that's all about. The first thing is to slide this guy up into here. There's uh, two channels right here. You just slide it in between them. There we go. Make sure it clicks all the way in. Make sure these wires are not on the uh, light here. There we go. All right, so there's this big panel that goes up under here and you got this opening right here. And this side goes into here. And you got this big opening here. It goes into this thing right here. You gotta make sure it goes into there. Otherwise it won't get through to your, uh, otherwise it won't get through to your heat, foot heater down here. So this, you gotta make sure that this opening slides up into here when you put this on. And that is why I took the glove compartment out, because that hose runs right through here, and you can guide it into here as you're putting it up in there. So here we go. So yep, this slides into here. Then you gotta make sure that that piece is, that round piece is uh, into that hole here. You just uh, get your hand in here and work it onto there, make sure it's on there. It's kinda hard for me to show you on camera, but this is the hose here that goes on to that thing. You got to make sure that's all the way on there perfectly. I'm going to get that done real quick and I'll be right back. All right, now that that's all done, you make sure that's up in there. We're going to start these screws here. I want to tighten them down all the way. So just get them up in there so that hose can't pop out of there again. There's one there and one here. Before we tighten them down all the way, we're going to put this last panel back in here. 
You got this little hook here that hooks into here. So we're gonna slide it in. And then that's it for that. We're gonna put this, you gotta make sure it's extended out. Slide it up in here and then just push this up and that panel is on. So all you gotta do is put this last screw up in here. Make sure they're pretty tight. They don't need to be too tight because you don't want to mess up the plastic. But just make sure they're good and snugged up. And then put your glove compartment back in. And that is all there is to it. Other than it being a tight spot, it is a very easy job. Anybody can do it. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and make sure you like this video if it helped you out. And leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know that it helped you out and I will respond to you. I want these how-to videos to help people out and I will be putting more up as things on the car or my vehicles go bad. This is my passion doing this stuff, so make sure you share it, no matter what anyone else thinks. Because that's what makes you you, that's what makes you unique, and that's what makes you stand out, and that's what makes you awesome. So don't be afraid to sign it. And say it with me, passion. Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down. Cold inside like winter leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance. Love me like you used to, so we can learn again. The skin is getting brown, baby, drinking night away, maybe.